Hi, Natural Divas. Um, naturally Nubian speaking to you today. Basically, I wanted to do a um, tutorial on um, a product um, called Raw Shea Butter Styling Souffle. Bought it from Nubian Heritage, um, so I thought I'd give it a go and um, just show you guys how it comes out in my hair. Um, if you've seen my other videos, you'll realise that um, I have 4C type hair. Um, okay, so I've already washed it and conditioned it. I did a deep condition, went under the hooded dryer and um, feeling quite soft right now. I've had the towel on it for about 10 minutes to get it just to dry off a little bit because um, I'm going to twist it and go to go to bed. Basically I'm going to do a curly fro. Sorry I forgot to tell you that. Um, okay so like I said I've deep conditioned. I'm going to use Talia Wajid um, medicated formula for my scalp. So I'm just going to spray that kind of randomly. Okay, all right. Okay, so I'm just going to section my hair and just put a little bit of the styling souffle. I um, think I'll probably use about that much for each section that I do. So I'll just do a few, then I'll cut and come back and just show you the end result. So I'll start at the front. I don't use a comb like I said before, just part it with my fingers and I'm just going to sort of rake it through and massage it right through to my ends. The only thing about this product that I did notice is that the smells quite strong and it's not that it's a horrible smell, it's just that it smells of an elder lady's perfume. I'm I like perfume, but there's some fragrances that I actually just can't stand. So um, this is this is one of the stronger scents that I'm not really keen on. Um, I think it's actually not that bad, like I said. But for me, I don't like very strong smells, and this just smells like a very strong perfume. But it's it's not repulsive. I think you can bear it. I think I can bear it for now. Again, just a little bit on there. And just rake it through to the ends. I've already detangled my hair <clears throat> using um, a large tooth comb. Um, very large tooth can see my hair is very thick, very dense, um, not keen on the Denman brush. Um, I think I'll have problems with that really. Okay, so there's two. And I'm just going to do that all over my he head and um, I'll show you guys at the very end and show you the rest in the morning. Morning YouTubers. Um, may not be morning for you but it is over here and very dark. Um, <clears throat> just finishing off um, the afro curly fro, sorry. So, um, did my twist last night, so I'm just going to take them out. Okay, so like I said before, I always untwist to the opposite way that I twisted it in the morning. So far, it feels a little dry, so I'm going to have to put a little bit of moisturiser on there. I had a feeling it might feel that way. I'm not quite sure how I want to style this actually. Um, we'll see. Think about it as we go along. And the thing when you do your curly fro, the important thing is to um, let it dry <laughs> because if you take it out while it's still wet, it's not really going to hold any curl. It's going to it's going to flop basically. So you don't want to um, 
take it out too early. So I usually leave it in overnight is the best way for me. And um, I also make sure that my twists are not too big, otherwise that, again, it, it won't dry properly. I think, I've done it. I think I might have to separate them because it's not, um, it's actually holding quite well in terms of the sort of um, hold of the actual curl because I know sometimes when I do them with other products I don't actually have to separate the individual curls like that one. Um, what will happen through the day it will start to fluff up on its own the roots will start to fluff up a bit so I really don't mess with it too much because I want the curl to to stay so like I said I really want to see how um, the Nubian Heritage Styling Souffle holds like some some sort of texture so that it doesn't look like the average fro so you may take all of them out and separate you may not it's up to you work on it how you like. I'm going to rush a bit because um, I'm running late. I need to be out of this house in like one minute. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to put some moisturiser on this. It's just a little too dry for me. Uh, sorry, that was the Shea Moisture Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner. Um, yeah, might actually put a little bit of the glycerin spritz as well because it is feeling quite dry. Not sure where I've put it. things that I don't actually want to put too much because if you spray, make it too wet, the curl will flop and then you really will be in trouble. Well, not really in trouble, but it won't be your desired look. Okay, it's not too bad. Might separate a few more in the back. Can't quite tell. Yeah, I think I think that will do. Just put a teeny bit more. Sorry, that was the shea moisture I was talking about. Make sure you rub this stuff in, otherwise it will be white when you leave the house and it will look odd. As you can see, my I think it's no, I think I've rubbed it in enough. Okay, could just go out like this, just rock it with some big earrings, um, put your makeup on, you know, look glam. Um, or sometimes, what I do is just take one side, have it up kind of like that, see if I can get that curl to stay on the right side and sometimes I just pull a bit forward it depends on how depend, make it your own you know style it how you want I, sometimes, I use a slide because um, I find it's a bit easier for me or you can put cornrows if you like um, yeah, just dress it up how you how you want to really. I think that's me. I think I'll leave it like this. Okay, hope you enjoyed. Um, don't forget to rate, subscribe, comment, ask me any questions. I will do my best to answer them. Okay, all right, thanks.